Well, thank you very much for taking a look at some of my work that I've posted up on YouTube. Uh, today we're going to uh, freshen up a convertible top. It's an older unit. Uh, the canvas itself is actually in pretty good condition. We've got a little bit of uh, fading from the sun. We've got some areas on the top just from where it's been folded and creased a few times uh, over the lifespan where you're seeing a little bit of wear and just changing color of the top itself. Uh, but it's still in really good shape. So what we're doing is we're going to dye back uh, the top to its original black. Uh, this is really just minor touch-ups, and what we're using is a product meant for this. It's a lot like a, a fabric dye. It's not a, uh, a spray paint, so it doesn't leave a, a glossy finish. Um, it literally gets absorbed into the canvas and just brings it back to the black. Now there's a variety of colors out there to pick from. So if you've got a car out there that might have a, a white top or a, you see a lot of them with a, a tan or a mocha, uh, that's all available. It's just a matter of ordering in the right code for it. Um, this one here, we're just doing the area where the top folds into the boot. You can see that there's a little crease there and there's been a little change in the color. Now we're going to reseal the top. Uh, what we're doing is a, a product a lot like a fabric guard. It's just a, a little more uh, of an indust industrial grade. It's meant to be used for outdoor applications. Uh, it is something you can pick up at a lot of uh, trim and fabric shops. Um, you can run through Canadian Tire. They might have a product similar to it. We're using a commercial product here that's available through the shop. Uh, you can see that there's a little bit of uh, white haze on it, and that's where um, the chemical is sitting on top of the canvas. It's not getting absorbed into it because the old chemical that's there is blocking it. So what you have to do is you've got to work it in, uh, massage it into the canvas. Um, again, this top is not in horrible condition. It's just there's a few little areas on it that have had a little bit of wear um, just from use, and we're just trying to tidy that up a little bit and bring it back up so we don't have to worry about water leaks in the future. Um, nice thing when you're doing um, the reseal on it, uh, it also does bring up the canvas to a, I wouldn't describe it as a gloss, but a couple shades darker as well. So if you're not going to go ahead and, and re-dye the spots that have uh, been contaminated or dirty or they've got the sun bleach in them, if you're just doing this on its own, you're going to find that it will bring it up quite a bit. Now, there is some prep involved prior to doing this. Uh, I've already done a full shampoo on the top. Uh, pretty straightforward. We just use a, a foam upholstery cleaner that's very light duty. Uh, we use a, a very soft brush uh, in the troubled areas. But you don't really want to go too hard on a, on a canvas top with a compressed compressor or anything along that line. Really, you've got to work it by hand. Uh, what we're doing now is we're working um, the seams and uh, all the fabric with a microfiber cloth um, and that just gets the uh, excess off and we're going to clean up the glass at the end as well. Uh, nice thing with this product is it's pretty easy to work with. If it does get on the glass or you get a little bit on your paintwork, it's not going to affect it. It's really easy to clean up as long as you get it before it sets. So you've got that uh, two to three hours worth of work time there. Um, so it's pretty easy to get along with. Uh, key thing to it is to make sure that you're in a uh, environment where you've got a lot of airflow. It is fairly strong. Um, it clearly states on the bottle, so just make sure that's the case. And I, I'd say it's a pretty common sense item there. Uh, what we're doing is we're just checking the seams. We're making sure that we're getting enough penetration into that area. We're also checking the stitching. Um, and again, we're just making sure that we're getting the the drips or the excess off with that microfiber cloth. Now the key thing on this one that I find when you're looking at the convertible tops, the areas that seem to kind of lose that ability to keep water out is the areas where you get that fold or the bend in the canvas. So we're trying to put a lot of product there and again we're working it in and you can see the, the canvas itself is coming up uh, almost a solid black and that's that mix of the fabric dye that we put on it or the, the canvas restore uh, and we're doing the, the fabric art as well which does tend to bring it up a, a little bit so if you've got an older car and 
you don't want to spend the money to have the thing uh, redone um, and it's still watertight there isn't any major issues with it this is a great way of just bringing it back up get a few more years out of it um, I know up here in Ontario we've got a lot of um, issues to deal with like if you're running it all four seasons there's a, a salt that they call a brine that they put on the road it affects canvas it'll bleach it down a fair bit um, if you're leaving it outdoors if you're running it around town again you're going to get bird droppings that type of thing um, resealing it every couple of years is a pretty good idea it's not terribly expensive to have it done um, something that you could uh, quote out each vehicle is a little different, uh, each canvas is a little different, um, each manufacturer and the process that they've done is a little bit different. Um, pretty much though, this is the standard route you'd go on an older one, but if you've got, um, there's a plastic top that's out there, it's um, almost like a nylon. Um, that one you really can't work this product in with. Once it's worn, it's worn. So, and you see that with some of the Volkswagen product. Um, every once in a while you come across it from uh, the mid 80s on a on a Chrysler product as well but it's pretty rare um, some of the steel sections uh, and some of the convertible tops be careful with uh, when you're applying this um, it can take um, some of the lubricants out of the um, hinge points so if you're going to soak it down make sure you have a little look and you'll see that on some of the other uh, German products where they've actually got a insert underneath the canvas of a piece of metal. It's kind of that pre um, fully retractable metal roof. Um, and you'll see that on like a CL. So it's just something to watch for. Each brand's a little different, a little tricky. Uh, what we're doing now is we're just going back over um, those little areas where the canvas has been bent. Uh, you can get a little more wear there. We're going around the window seams as well just to make sure that all the stitching is nice and tight. We're just cleaning up the windows. Uh, this process usually takes about anywhere with the clean up uh, initially about four hours to about six hours. Uh, so it's not hugely labor intensive, but it's just time consuming. Um, and again, the chemicals are just something you've got to hunt down. Uh, what I like to do is uh, on a vehicle like this, because it's a little older, is I'll let it set up. Um, so we'll let it sit for about an hour then we'll reapply another coat. Um, so you're almost getting a double coating on it. Um, you could do that the following day as well if you wanted to. What I find is that if you do it the following day, like when you notice the beading earlier with the older product, it tends to sit on top of it anyways. So it's a good idea to get it while it's a little bit damp. And the canvas will absorb a little more. So now we're pulling away the tape. The only reason we put the tape there is that there's a little plastic trim work around the convertible itself. Um, it's just a cautionary item. Uh, main reason being is that the canvas rests up against that. So you're going to get a little more of that uh, sealant on there and it may affect the plastic. It may not, but again, it's just a cautionary item. Um, then afterwards, we're going to go through and just wipe down the vehicle. Um, pretty straightforward. Again, as long as you don't let it set up over you know, a couple hours, you can clean it up. Uh, with a little bit of water and a little bit of a microfiber towel will clean it, no problems. Now we're going to take a look at um, the day after. Um, we're going to give the car a quick little spritz. And you're going to see that uh, the water will beat up on it and uh, it won't get absorbed in the canvas. Whereas prior to that, you would see that it would kind of just uh, sit on the surface and almost look like it was being absorbed into the canvas itself. Uh, right now what we're doing is just going over the windows with a little razor blade, um, just making sure they're nice and clean. Um, it's actually not from the treatment, it's actually just the glass is dirty, so we're just tidying that up. And there we can see that you get that little water beading, which is actually uh, sitting on top of the canvas. And this is kind of the after uh, on, on the top itself. So we've gone back to a nice rich black. Uh, if you've got any questions about this, by all means, uh, give us a shout down at the dealership. We can work out a quote if you want to get it done if you're looking to buy the chemicals yourself. Okay, have a pleasant and enjoyable day.